Hi, I'm Finn Peacock, and the big daddy of all questions is, how do you choose a good solar panel? There are literally thousands of solar panels on the Australian market. How do you know which ones are any good? Well, it's actually quite simple. You look for third party proof that the panel is any good. Don't trust the manufacturers. If the solar panels are any good, there's a very good chance that they've been tested in a lab somewhere independently and they've got a stamp of approval, right? So there's, like I said, there's thousands and thousands of solar panels approved for use in Australia. Here's the thing, approved for use in Australia, unfortunately doesn't mean that much. The bar is really low. I've seen some horrendous solar panels that have been approved for use in Australia um, because they managed to pass the test because it's really not a difficult test to pass. Sorry guys, but it's true. So what kind of third party validation can you look for? Well, that's why I built this tool. It's the solar panel comparison tool uh, on the Solar Quotes website. Now what that does is because I don't trust the Australian standard too much, I've actually cross-referenced every solar panel approved for use in Australia with every solar panel approved for use in California. Why California? Because those guys are really on the ball. I think their um, approvals mean a lot more than the Australian approvals and critically, they test every single panel in the lab, measure the power outputs under real world conditions and compare it to every other panel they've tested. So in this tool, you've got a really nice list um, of hundreds of solar panels and you've got a number called the performance ratio and basically the higher the performance ratio the more power you get out of the panel for the size of the panel so that's a really good resource now it's not perfect because not every solar panel not every good solar panel is on that list so go to that list have a look if it's on there it gets a good performance ratio that's a good sign that it's a low risk panel that it's a good quality panel if you can't find it on the list then you know give the panel a chance um, do your research uh, Google a magazine called Photon Magazine, that's the industry bible, they do loads of solar panel tests. Um, you may find a, a, a write-up of a test of the panel where they you know, torture test the thing. Um, but basically, don't buy a solar panel unless you can find third-party validation that the panel's good. Um, the good solar companies will provide this information, the bad ones won't because they'll be selling a panel that hasn't got it because it's, you know, they bought it on the spot market in China for you know, bugger all basically. So really important, there's thousands of solar panels on the market, there's hundreds of solar panels with third party validation with test results from independent third parties. Choose one of the hundreds that's got the test results and the third party validation. Um, another trust badge that's quite useful is the MCS trust badge. You go on the solar panel manufacturer's website and they've got that badge, that's a good sign. Um, it means that it's actually an English certification that's quite stringent. Uh, the English guys, they go over to the factory, um, they check the quality control, they check all sorts of things and it's quite a good sign that it's a good solar panel manufacturer if they've got that accreditation. So that's another trust badge to watch for. Um, one more thing you should know about solar panels is you get three types of solar cell in a solar panel. The solar cells are the black square things that make up solar panels about the size of a beer mat. You get A grade, B grade and C grade uh, solar cells. You want A grade, B grade and C grade, don't do it. Now, how do you know if your solar panel's got A-grade silicon in it? Well, it's not actually on the specification normally. Um, the solar company generally has to get a letter from the solar panel man manufacturer, um, reassuring them that the panels they send to that solar company only contain the A-grade silicon. Um, and the good solar companies are on top of this and they're getting A-grade silicon in their solar panels because they know that they'll get more power, they'll perform better at temperature and they'll last longer than the B grade crap that's out there. And let's be honest, why go B grade? You're paying good money for the solar panels, get A grade. So to, to conclude, um, it's really simple, kind of common sense. Don't buy a solar panel unless you can get third party proof that it's any good.